Introducing the Lego Black Panther set number 76215, the bust set. So this set was originally released at $350, was not received very well by the fans at 2,961 pieces. This set is really, really cool. And it's a lot taller than you would think. So same look here at the back of the box. It is 18 inches from top to bottom and 15 inches from left to right. If y'all are new here, slap that subscribe button for daily Lego content, both short and long form content. So set came with two manuals. And again, I like the two manual approach. Uh, like I said in a lot of my reviews, because it, it definitely helps out for a little easier building. This set took me a few nights to build. I don't know how many hours, maybe like 10 plus hours or so. But overall, I think it's an awesome set. So now, I mentioned the set was not received very well by fans. At 350 bucks, not a fan. So I was certainly on board for that. Um, now, you get the set for $225 on Amazon. It's been up to 40% off. I think I got this set for like less than $200 on Amazon Prime Day. At 225 bucks, this is a steal. I mean, you gotta buy this. Even if you just buy the set and you don't wanna build it and you just want it for pieces, there's a lot of really good pieces in the set. A lot of the black pieces, obviously, there's a lot of purple inside and different color pieces, but you gotta build this set. If you're a Marvel fan, Black Panther fan, Avengers, whatever, this is a must have for your collection. If you don't buy it at $225, I promise you, Later down the line, you're gonna regret it, and this set will be you know, more expensive, obviously, as sets retire. So, I'm going to do a close-up of the set. I'm gonna move the camera around. I'll show you all the different stuff, how I feel about it, but overall, I think you can already tell, I'm a fan, and this is a must-have buy. So let's continue this, re this review with a little closer-up look of the set. All right, so taking a look at the set, try my best to get the best lighting I can possibly get, but it's really tough this being all black without having like a big time glare on the screen. It looks really, really good. I mean, taking a look at the whole top here, I really do like this set. Again, I know it wasn't received very well, but I don't think it wasn't received very well because of the quality of the build and the detail. I think it was more or less the price and the actor did pass away right around the time they announced the set. I think it got announced shortly afterwards. I think it was just bad timing uh, in general. So, the, the sticker here, I was a little disappointed. I would have liked to see a printed sticker, uh, and I did have a little bit of problems with taking it off. The overall stand, it's pretty sturdy when it's here, but you have to be really careful when you move it around. But look at all the detail. It just looks so good. And almost too, me and my wife were talking about it, I almost was okay. The, the fingers are, you can lift the fingers up and down. All of them are posable. But this is how it looks on the front of the box. I was okay with this set without even having the uh the hands like just having this top part like his head and like the shoulder area i would have been okay you build that in the last few bags and it gets put onto the stand here in the front so this whole front section here is different so i would have been okay if it was just this part all the way up and you could see around the sides here everything else i would have been okay with just that and maybe you could have brought the set price down a little bit but you know lego they, they make sure to go all out, I think, for a lot of their sets. And this one's one of those scenarios where they probably could have done the set without the arms. But I do think the arms look really good, too. I wouldn't mind having two of these. Having one with the arms built and one without the arms. And overall, again, the stand is pretty sturdy. Except when you're moving it, you have to be really, really careful. As you can tell, I mean, this is really heavy on the front with all the pieces. And it just hangs in here with a couple of these, um, like, Technic pieces. So... You definitely have to be careful, but overall, I think it's a pretty sturdy build. It's obviously not a play piece. This is something that you're just going to have on display. And I cannot wait to put this on my shelf and keep this on display for, you know, as long as I'm a Lego collector, which at this stage doesn't seem like it's ever going to end. So overall, again, I think this is a phenomenal build. I'm really, really happy with it. Let me know what y'all think. For $225, it's definitely worth picking up. Hopefully, I was able to show you all the detail in the set here by picking up the camera. It's, it's tough to, to do this with the camera sitting on the tripod, honestly, with the way I do reviews. So thank you all for watching. Leave some comments. What do you think about this set? And if you're still, you know, if this, if you're new to the channel, we have an ongoing giveaway going on right now. As of September, I think third or fourth, whatever today's date is, it's still going to celebrate 5,000 subscribers. So go check out that video. It's the pin video on my page. Make sure to get involved with that get yourself a free battle pack thank you all for watching and again 
go pick up this set. It's a must-have for any LEGO, any Marvel fan. Thank you.